are going to discuss about MRSA. Let's start. MRSA is nothing but it's a staphylococcus infection which is resistant to the antibiotic such as medicillin. Medicillin is an antibiotic which usually used to treat staphylococcus infection. So what's the difference between Staphylococcus aureus and the medicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus? That's our MRSA. Staphylococcus is a bacteria which normally present the normal floor of the skin or the air etc. When this normal Staphylococcus bacteria has mutated through years, it becomes resistant against antibiotics. It's known as the MRSA. So mutation is nothing but it's a sudden heritable change that occurs in the genotype of an organism is known as mutation. So when it get mutated, it have the capacity to resist against the antibiotic. It's commonly known as a super bug. Next, how MRSA is transmitted? It's transmitted most frequently by direct skin to skin contact or contact with shared items or the surfaces that have come into contact with someone else infections like towels, used bandages or unwashed sheets etc. MRSA skin infection can occur anywhere. The types of MRSA There are mainly two types of MRSA that is HAMRSA and CAMRSA. First, we are going to discuss about HAMRSA. HAMRSA is the healthcare associated MRSA. CAMRSA is community associated MRSA. HAMRSA infection that are spread in hospital, nursing home and other places of healthcare. It's a common type of MRSA and it usually occurs in the age above 68. Next, we are going to discuss about CAMRSA or Community Associated MRSA. CAMRSA is spread in close contact areas such as gym, pools, etc. or from the skin to skin contact. It's a less common type of MRSA and usually it occurs in the younger people. That's the average age is 23 years. That's about the types of MRSA. Symptoms of MRSA A MRSA staphylococcus infection starts off looking like a small pimple, bug bite or a boil. Then it will grow quickly into a painful abscess. This MRSA may lead to cellulitis, blood infection, meningitis or pneumonia. Now the dangers of MRSA. MRSA infection usually affects the skin but sometimes it will spread to the bloodstream and to other organs of the body. It can affect bones, joints, lungs, heart etc. which are life-threatening cases. The treatment of MRSA Medical attention is strongly advised for any suspicious of Staphylococcus or MRSA infection. Tests will be run to confirm MRSA. Infection can be lanced or drained. Antibiotics will be prescribed. Example, daptomycin. Prevention and control of MRSA. First, wash hands often. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Keep cuts and scrapes clean and covered with bandages. Next, do not touch other people's cut or bandages. Then, do not share your personal items such as towel, razors, etc. Wipe down gym equipment before and after use. These all are the prevention and control measures of MRSA.